In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best trades in Ultimate Football that I recently completed. I might turn this into a series, but I'm not sure yet. But we'll see how you guys like the video. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. And let's get straight into the video. I'm basically going to be showing you guys a ton of trade highlights of what I complete or what I get close to completing in the Ultimate Football Trade Hub and how I got all of them. Watch to the end to see how much I gained. At the beginning, I started with around 37 million rep, which basically means the value of my items. In this first trade, this guy wanted my blue clockwork headphones, blue designer viper, eagle flap, um, and some blue backplate and a vest, and also I, the cyan dreads, I think. Then he was offering me T-Pose and then two Amethyst emotes. So he was offering really good demand items for items I didn't really use that much. And he was overpaying with T-Pose, which I've already traded off and gotten a million overpay on it before. Now I'm not saying that T-Pose gets a million overpays, but I can definitely get more than what he's giving me right now. Which if I'm gaining value off of that, that means it's pretty good trade. He's giving me a 300k overpay for for an item upgrade in a 6v3, meaning I'm giving six items for three items. Not only am I gaining value, but I'm gaining demand, so I decided to accept it. I'll just show you guys the part where the trade gets completed, because it actually took like almost 10 minutes to negotiate and talk this out with him. But I'm surprised he ended up doing this trade, and I took I think I took a big W. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Anyways, I'll move on and show you guys the second trade. Alright, so the second trade was Dirty Bird, Head Spin, Pop Lock, and some White Gloves for the Hacky Sack and some Cleats. I probably should have never done this trade because I didn't really get much out of it. In fact, I probably lost demand by getting those Cleats, and they're probably going to be very hard to trade off, so I probably should have never done this trade. But I think this was the only bad trade I really made throughout this video, so I'll show you guys some of the better trades. Alright, for this next one, I'll show you guys the clip first, and then I'll tell you guys what I think about this trade. Alright guys, we're about to do this trade. 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, we did it. Oh my god. Oh, I gave one mil for White Towel a long time ago, like... I don't know, a month ago. And now that's what I got out of it. Let's freaking go. So yeah, as you guys saw, I traded White Tau, and originally I got it for around 1.3 to 1.4 mil, and I pretty much gave garbage items besides the hacky sack for it, and getting White Tau was definitely the best thing that's happened to me on trading in Ultimate Football in forever. Now, the reason why people want white towels so much is because it only has 81 copies and nobody can get it other than trading for it or buying it from the auction but you can't really buy it on the auction because no one really puts it up on the auction so the only way to get that white towel that i had was to trade for it and this guy who traded me he was actually a ultimate football staff member and i guess he really wanted it and the only reason why i accepted is because it had peanut butter jelly time and i really wanted work clock headphones as well those were two items i really wanted and i've never had like a really good diamond animation ever before so after getting this trade that was the first time i had ever owned that animation i also traded away the um black fire sleeve the meditate and the drip walk but honestly i've owned all those items before and i don't really care too much about them i just wanted peanut butter jelly time the thing about peanut butter jelly time though is that that trade might seem bad and it may seem like I lost a lot from trading that based off of rap and value but I know many people who get offered up to like four to five mil on peanut butter jelly time and some people don't even accept that and then the next trade I show in this video I'll exactly prove that I'm right about that so yeah overall it may not seem like this trade made me a lot of profit but trust me it will eventually make me a lot of profit once I trade off peanut butter jelly time and work clock headphones but yeah some people did tell me that I probably shouldn't have traded white towel but honestly I I just wanted to do it just for the emote and just for the headphones, but I think that was the perfect time to finally trade it away. Anyways, I have even more trades to show you guys in this episode, so I'll show you guys the next trade. Alright, so right after I got peanut butter jelly time, this guy wanted to offer me 4 million rap for it, 
and I would have accepted if it was better items, but honestly, I didn't, because red goggles, I mean, that's a good item, but the other items, like, the, the red cleats that are the diamonds, those are in the season pass for this season, so that's the only reason why they're worth a lot right now, but as more people get them, they will be worth less and less value, and same with row your boat, that's also in the crew rewards, and as more people get that, then that'll go down as well. So that's the only reason why I declined this one. Alright, so for the last trade I did, I traded away the Smeeze for the Cosmo Diamond Cleats. Which, I don't know how I got this trade to be honest. This guy just, I guess, really wanted Smeeze, even though he could easily buy it on the auction for like 500k. And overall, this is just a value win, so I'll take the free 500k value. Somehow I just got really lucky with this trade, and this is the trade that got me to 40 million value in Ultimate Football. Hope you guys enjoyed my first Ultimate Football trading video. And hopefully, once I get more trades, I'll be able to make a second episode of this once I reach 45 million value in Ultimate Football. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and have a great day.